Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, our Lord, God, and Savior. He is the way, the truth, the life, forever and ever. He cannot lie. It's the most important thing in life to have your faith in Jesus Christ. That's where faith belongs. You don't have to listen to me or trust me. I would like you to, but I would also like you to do your own research and come to this conclusion so you'll know it for yourself and you'll be 100% sure that where does my faith belong? In Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I mention often that this is our channel, right? Like, we are in the truth community. And what's the truth community? The Christians that are awake to the biblical world. And again, like, as long as someone's a Christian and has faith in Jesus Christ for salvation, nothing else really matters. And like, I, even after I just said that, I'm like, well, the truth does matter because when you know the truth, it sets you free. It liberates you. It's liberated me to not be shackled by Satan's fake world, right? A lot of people in the New Age and even some Christians will say it's like the movie The Matrix. You wake up out of The Matrix, Satan's Matrix, and you realize that the world has been a lie. The world that the, right, that men and women in the world, they say, oh, the earth is like this. It's gazillions of years old. That's one thing else about biblical earth. Creation itself like when you read the Bible in Genesis, creation, how God spoke the world into existence, it's not even that old. 6,000 years ago, many people on my channel here, on our channel, agree that the earth is young. It's not billions of years old with dinosaurs and cavemen. All of that stuff is garbage. Just because we were taught that in school doesn't make it true. I know that's hard for a lot of people to take. They wouldn't lie to us. They wouldn't deceive us. All of my education left out Jesus and the Bible. No one came forward. There was one or two people in school that believed in Jesus and dismissed the theory of evolution. There's a, there's a kind of evolution, adaption, but it's not a changing of a fish that grew legs. It's not a monkey man type thing, a Neanderthal that came, became us. God made creation like he says in Genesis, the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve. A lot of people like to sound smart. We all came from Africa. Blah, blah, blah. Like, no, we, we all came from the Bible, the way the Bible describes things. People that try and talk about the world without including the biblical world are not telling the truth. They don't understand the truth. Anyways, I appreciate every brother and sister on here and even some that are not my brother and sister, I would love them to be my brother and sister, but some people are a little new age, they blah, 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 they meditate and blah, 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 whatever. There's a lot of that stuff. There's a lot of new agers in the truth movement. And if they don't know Jesus Christ, they are missing the truth. So Joe Say It Ain't So says, Hollywood Unmasked 2 is a very compact documentary about Hollywood, including Hollywood of old, and it's all about their use of the occult. Lucille Ball, Joan Crawford, uh, Marlena Dietrich, Mae West, and Marilyn Monroe were all highly were all highlighted with quotes about their use of spirits, which are demons, to get performances, ideas, or help from their careers. Dietrich went as far to say in her memoirs, I consulted mediums, tarot card readers, and devil worshippers because I knew they had the answers I wanted. I love this comment because it's true. And Hollywood of old, it's the same as Hollywood now. People do use mediums and tarot cards and devil worshippers to get information. They channel information from higher beings, which are all demons deceiving them. I know some disagree with me, but honestly, when people go for help from the spirit world, it's not an angel of God coming to give you secret info. It is a deceiving demon an unfamiliar, a familiar spirit. They're a familiar spirit because they know a lot of things and they know a lot about us. So when someone goes to a medium, a psychic, quote unquote, that really does happen. They really do get some info about you, but it's through a demon whispering secrets in their ear. So he mentions Lucille Ball. Uh, what about... Oh, yeah. Um... 
Yes, sorry. I have my I have I have so many tabs open all the time. It's hard for me to recognize. Anyways, Lucille Ball. I love Lucy, right? This is before my time, but I'm very aware of Lucille Ball and how she was a, a big impact on media and the entertainment, television, whatever. Lucille Ball is here with Desi. She is doing, and some would say he, I know, I know, they're, like, I don't, if I can't prove they're transgender, I'm not going to talk about it. Lucille Ball is doing the vow of silence here. Why? You know, like a Freemason would do. Keep the secret of the biblical world about fame, fortune, success, and most likely about Freemasonry they're involved with. Desi is doing 666 in the Eye of Horus here. Why is he doing that? Because these people are sold out. In Way back when, that's not that long ago, in the 60s or whatever, but Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, right? Desi's doing the 666 in the Eye of Horus. And what does Lucille Ball do? She hides her hand in her coat the way a Freemason would do. So again, this comment says, Hollywood Unmasked 2 is a very compact documentary about Hollywood, including uh, Hollywood of old, and it's all about their use of the occult. Lucille Ball, Joan Crawford, Mariana Dietrich, Mae West, and Marilyn Monroe were all highlighted with quotes about their use about spirits, which are demons, to get performances, right? People channel a spirit and that spirit helps them out by taking control of their body and whatever and gives them a performance because demons, they do know a lot. They know the Bible. They have some power. Obviously not more than Jesus Christ, but they do help people and they want them to sell their souls for rock and roll. So performances, ideas help their careers. Uh, Dietrich went as far in memoirs. I consulted mediums tarot card readers and devil worshipers hey that's a good idea right because they had the answers that she wanted i've mentioned in the past and i've made a couple videos my favorite band in the last many years has been the smiths and i do like morrissey too like morrissey's very flamboyant and gay like i don't care for that obviously but honestly like the smiths music the the, the you know i really like their music and I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I have, like, when I go for a walk, which is daily, I have my MP3 player, my I, my uh, iPod, and it's got music from years ago. And I'm, I'm one of these days, I'm going to put some more Christian music on there and do that and do the right thing. But sometimes I admit, I do listen to the Smiths albums when I'm out for a walk. I really like the music. <laughs> it's not an excuse. And again, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to keep listening to the music, but I do I do it at some times. But I know that I'm doing something is wrong, so I want to repent of that and not do it anymore. Morrissey has a song called Ouija Board, Ouija Board. And this video, if you haven't seen it, maybe I'll link it below. I'm not sure if I'll do that yet, but he's opening up his box of the Ouija Board here. And his lyrics are all about, like, help me. He's lonely in this world. Like... The Smiths are very like life and death. I'm lonely. I, I want love in my life. And like I can relate to that. Most human beings can relate to the, the Smiths and Morrissey. But Morrissey, he's opening his Ouija board. He goes to see a psychic medium and there's a crystal ball. There's tarot cards. It's the whole shebang. It's the whole new age. And the new age is just old repackaged Satanism. Tarot cards, Ouija boards, communicating with quote unquote spirits. It's demons. And all that stuff. Morrissey also has a song called I Have Forgiven Jesus. What a horrible song. Like, I'm not saying the music is horrible, but I, I would say in this case it is. But I Have Forgiven Jesus. Um, it's completely backwards what Morrissey's doing here. Jesus forgives us of our sins because we're all dreadful sinners Morrissey has the nerve to say, I have forgiven Jesus. This is a humongous mistake. He should repent of this. I pray that he does. I do not hate Morrissey and the Smiths. Uh, you know, I want them to know Jesus Christ, but they are involved in the occult, occult books, like just the whole shebang. So Morrissey has a song that says, I have forgiven Jesus. Terrible. Here is Morrissey doing the prayer hands, the Anjali Mudra. I wonder who he's praying to. Morrissey of the Smiths is hiding his hand in his shirt the way a Freemason would do. 
Johnny Marr, who I owned one of his signature guitars, his signature Jaguar. I owned that guitar, and it, it was a very good guitar, but I sold it because I don't want to be a hypocrite and have a guitar from a person that wants to pose as Jesus on the cross with a crown of thorns and who is blasphemous and into Satanism. Johnny Marr, he says in his post, first eye check, second eye check, third eye check. He's got the sunglasses where his third eye is open, right? This goes along with the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. This goes along with the occult. This goes along with the quote-unquote fake awakening, right? Nirvana. Here's Morrissey. He's got the big fake globe in his hand there, which is a disgrace. Morrissey is doing 666 in the eye of Horus. Why? Because he's sold out and in the club. Remember, I like Morrissey and the Smiths. I do. I would love them to be saved by Jesus Christ. But this whole thing is garbage and I'm against it. Morrissey is hiding his hand in his shirt the way a Freemason would do. And here's Morrissey doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. A gesture that's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment, right? Third eye, occult. It's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment, but it is not. It's the false light of Lucifer, who is Satan, and it's the pride of humanity to pose like this. Morrissey says he has forgiven Jesus, and he uses a Ouija board and tarot cards and psychic mediums. No thank you, Morrissey. You need to repent and know Jesus Christ for a lot of reasons. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, I appreciate you in the comments section. We're doing this together. I hope and pray that you have eyes to see that... The world is very deceiving. Entertainment, it's very deceiving. We must use discernment and discretion in all things. God bless you, everyone.